going on, everybody? Welcome back here today to another NBA 2K19 offseason scenario rebuild. And it is going to be a Clay Thompson, Anthony Davis, and LeBron James LA Lakers rebuild. So I'm recording this on February 3rd, and I think you guys are going to see this on the 5th or the 4th. So I hope nothing changes before I upload this, because then it would just kind of be a dumb video. But yeah, I'm going to trade for Anthony Davis. Oh, i got to wait till after team player options. Okay, that's annoying. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to trade my first round pick this year for like a team's first next year so i can add that into the trade anyway i'm gonna probably trade lonzo ingram kuzma zubats for uh anthony davis so clippers 2022 first thank you i'm gonna throw that in the anthony davis trade anyway because i can't make any trades yet because we have two player options to deal with so let's bring back all these guys yep and let's advance here to uh Proposed trade. And yeah, I'm going to sign Clay Thompson because of the rumor. Obviously, we all know about the Anthony Davis rumor coming to the Lakers. And the Clay Thompson rumor is that there's a rumor he might want to join them. So I'm going to do that for fun. I could have did Kyrie, but I was just like, you know what? I'm going to do Clay because uh, I'll probably do a Kyrie Lakers rebuild later on as well. So what I'm going to do here. Wow, I only have. Okay, so we're going to trade Lonzo Ball. We're going to trade Kuzma. We're going to trade Ingram. Do we have Zubats here? Nope, he's a free agent. So uh, I guess that sucks. So you're going to get these three. And you're going to get two first round picks, this one, and you can get the Clippers for Anthony Davis. Take this one, you will. I'm going to try to keep Josh Hart just because screw it. And the Pelicans might be like, damn, this is the best offer we're going to get. So we might as well, because maybe uh, Boston's not going to want to trade for AD after the comments that he's only going to probably re-sign with the Lakers or maybe the Knicks. That, re that was a report, but it's probably the Lakers. And he also came out with the, I don't want my son to go to Boston. So they're like, oh, we're not going to give up Jason Tatum for, some, for a rental, so... Lakers might be the only team to do it, so we are going to do that. And honestly, the Lakers, I think they should try to keep Josh Hart at all costs because he's only going to be making 1.6 mil for, I believe, the next two years. Uh, so, and or then it'll go up to 3.5. But that's incredibly cheap compared to Kuzma's, or at least compared to Ingram and Lonzo's that are very expensive because they were top picks in the draft. They were both number two picks. And if the Lakers say they get Anthony Davis, right? They have Anthony Davis and LeBron, then they go out and sign somebody else. They're going to have literally zero, like, they're going to have no money. They're going to literally have no money. So keeping a good player like Josh Hart on a cheap deal is key for them. So Zubats, we'll give them the qualifying offer. Now, I do want to sign Clay Thompson. Kyrie Irving has two offers. Going to go to the Celtics, it looks like. Clay Thompson, though, we are going to sign. Okay, cool. We can sign him. Uh, he should accept that. Now, do we have any free agents? How will Pope would be interesting to bring back, but I don't know if I can. I don't think I'll be able to do that because I do want to bring in Clay. So we're gonna read out some rights on Lonzo, uh, Javale. We're gonna have to do on KCP. Eighteen million dollar cap. Oh, geez. Actually, we might not have to do Javale, but we'll just keep it for now. So we pick up Clay Thompson. Sweet. Uh, I think I'm gonna play LeBron at point guard, Josh Hart at shooting guard, Clay at small forward, Davis at power forward, and Zubac at center. I feel like that's what I'm gonna be rolling with here. Uh, so we're gonna get him back no matter what. Okay, so let me see. I think LeBron's going to play point guard, uh, but I do need a backup point guard. So we could bring back Rondo, Jeremy Lin, Collison. You know what? I'll bring back Rondo. We can always trade him. Uh, so we bring back Rondo. Cool. Uh, let me just sign Zubats. Just screw it. Uh, he wants nine mil, sure. I can always package out a trade next offseason. So more money, I guess, kind of the better. So I really, okay, let's bring back JR, or not bring back JR, but bring him to LA. Sorry, LeBron, but we're going to bring in JR. Don't know why I give him a two-year deal, but sure. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then like Makai could be nine or Baga could be nine. Okay, so we're going to roll with this. It's not great yet, but next offseason is where we can actually, I don't know, get better players. We can trade draft picks and stuff like that. So, I'll see you guys at training camps. All right, guys. So, untapped potential, though. I do want to send Josh Hart there. Uh, he's going to be a starter for us. So, I kind of hope he's good. So, is Zubat. So, we're going to send him to untapped potential. And I guess we'll send it to, like, Wagner, I guess. Uh, so, I don't know. He might not even be here next year. I might trade him because he might have decent trade value. So, what I'm going to do is actually move him to power forward. Uh, okay. So, we're going to have LeBron at point guard. Clay at small forward. Uh, shooting guard Hart. Center uh, will be Zubats. So, uh, and they said Adrian paid for us, but yeah, like that's not happening. So, Rondo can get like 27. Adrian paid, you're not going to be playing. Uh, J.R. Smith can get 15. Uh, Wagner can get 15. And who is the last guy? Makayak. He can get like 12. Uh, and then I'm going to send Bogdan to the G League, I think. So, okay, let's see how I want to do these minutes. Let's give 30 here. 37, 37. Okay. And then we'll go. 
37 to 30. That's perfect. So I'm going to send Bogdan to the G League. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Uh, we do have, like, we're going to have, like, three first round picks to play with in the offseason. And uh, unless there's somebody else I should send to the G League, but I don't think so. So actually, ooh, Patrick Beverly. Damn, that would be, that'd be clean if I could have signed. <gasps> I could get Avery Bradley. Okay, Tyler McKayek. Uh, are you going to go to the G League now? Are you a second round pick? Yeah, so you're going to be a... No, you're not a free agent. Okay, so you're going to go to the G League, and then I'm going to give your minutes to... Damn, I can't believe I just snagged Avery Bradley there. Uh, let's move him up. So I'm probably going to go 12 to JR now, or we'll go 10 to JR. We'll do this, and we'll go 25, and then we'll go 19. So that's going to be for me. I'll see you guys at the end of the season, and let's see how this big three can do. So we end up going 49 and 33, which is okay. It's not really good at all when you have Clay Thompson, LeBron James... And Anthony Davis. Now, I did get, I did fire Luke Walton uh, for Jacob Underwood before I started the video. And there's Anthony Davis on all the first team. There was, no, I think Luke Walton's gonna get fired in the offseason anyway. I don't, I don't know. I just don't see him coaching pants this year, especially if the Lakers either don't make the playoffs or get bounced in round one. But I don't know. It might have like a little broad effect that he'll get fired. I don't really particularly think he was a good coach anyway. I, he kind of got this contract because he was the Warriors' assistant coach. And Kirk obviously was like hurt or something, so he couldn't coach, and the Warriors went on a crazy win streak. But I feel like 90% of coaches could have went on that win streak with the team they had. But I'm not saying he's a terrible coach, like he's better than some coaches in the league, but I don't think he's definitely the right guy to coach LeBron, too. I think LeBron's older than him. Is LeBron or in the same draft class? I could be wrong, but I feel like that could be a thing. Uh, no Kawhi, or not no Kawhi, no Akoi Thompson on the All NBA teams. Andy Davis was All NBA first team and All Defensive first team. And we get the Lakers here. Jimmy Butler side with the Knicks. Cool, I guess. Uh, so let's see. I want to see the stats. I think we were the fourth seed. But I do want to check out the Pelican stats and see how the three young guys that I traded did for them. Uh, so they did. I hate this whole something. Uh, Kuzma, 18 and 6. Not bad. That's a, not a career high, but still pretty good numbers. Uh, Holiday, 14. Okay. Ingram, 14 points. He sucks in 2K. And Lonzo averaged 9 and about 10 assists, which is pretty good. Uh, it's actually really good. I should say pretty good. So points per game, we were... Damn, we weren't that high. We were 8th. Actually, that's still pretty high. Uh, with LeBron at point guard, he averaged 23. We'll get to the team stats and the uh, player stats in the moment. A lot of points, we were 4th in defense. Pretty good. And we were 5th in point differential. Not bad whatsoever. So player stats, Anthony Davis on us is scoring 25 and 10... Or 25 and 13, excuse me, in 10 defensive rebounds. 3.2 assists, 2.4 blocks. I don't think he got defensive player of the year. I feel like it was just Giannis or Kawhi, but he could have been up there, honestly. Uh, LeBron, 27, 8 assists, 7.8 rebounds. What's his career high in assists? He had 9.1 in 2017. Holy shit. Uh, damn. That is absurd. Uh, okay, so I think that's his, like, this is, like, his third highest or fourth highest in his career. Uh, Clay, 18 points a game. What do you shoot from three? 45%. That's really good. Uh, Zubats, 12 and 8. Pretty good stuff from him, and then there's Hart. I feel like Hart's going to be a bench guy. I'm going to try to get an actual shooting guard or small forward or point guard. Because if I get a new point guard, I can put LeBron back at small forward and Clay back at shooting guard. If I can do small forward, I can keep LeBron at point guard. Um, and then put Clay back to shooting guard. Or I can just get a new shooting guard. So it's any just wing or guard position I can pick up. So here are the stats. And we do have some contracts that we can move. Like Rondo's. It's like 8 mil. I can trade Rondo in a couple first. I can even move Zubats if I wanted to. So we're taking on the 15 and Thunder in round one. I could see us losing. Uh, they have Tariq Prince I saw, which is a cool pickup for them. But I could see us winning as well. And we're down 2-0. I guess it's mainly our bench. I mean, we're playing uh, J.R. Smith. And we don't, do we even have a big off the bench? It's Mo Wagner. Hey, game seven. And we win. Let's go. The Jazz for the one seed? Did they sign like Kyrie? No. They, said, they brought back the guy they drafted, Ennis Kanter, back in 2011. I can't believe it was the third overall pick, damn. Uh, yeah, she was pretty good. And then OKC gave him that monster deal. Uh, or they traded for him, and then they gave him a monster deal. Uh, all right, I think we can beat this Jazz team, honestly. But let's see what happens. Uh, then it's Warriors Rockets on the other side. We're up 2-1. Two 2-2. To two to two. Okay, come on. I feel like we should beat the Jazz. Damn, down 3-2. to two. Okay, I guess the Jazz are just really good now. Well, the Raptors win it all, and Kyle Lowry averaged 24-12 as your finals MVP. The Jazz actually beat the Warriors, and then they got swept by the Raptors. This is the Warriors team that... Well, I guess they don't have Clay Cousins anymore, but they still have Draymond, KD, Romeo Light for Jordan Bell and Curry. That's pretty crazy. So, let's advance here to the offseason. Draft lottery. Yeah, I can just go to that. So, uh, we're obviously not going to be top picks. The Pistons got the number one pick finally. Maybe they can actually fix that team. 
Uh, so we, or the Pelicans have our first. So we don't have a first, I believe. Uh, Jacob Underwood, I just, I'm still fired with as our coach. We could fire Dan Daniels, just because of that name, I want to fire you. You should just go and be like bull bullish trader. It makes sense. Uh, so let's go to the NBA draft. And let's definitely move someone. So we could move Rondo, who is regressing. Like Rondo and a first. What can I get? Keezy Opalo. Where is this guy from? Stanford. Okay. Uh, Marcus Smart. That's actually a pretty clean pickup. Justice Winslow and Goran Dragic. Okay. I kind of like that. That's actually a pretty generous offer. Uh, I think I'm going to do that trade. All right. So we're going to get Justice Winslow. And we're going to have to give him another first. But I'll take Goran Dragic. Now, I could move Goran Dragic still. But, but I do want to see what I can get for him. Because uh, he's 34 and he's just going to keep regressing. Tristan Thompson, yeah. Uh, Dion Waiters, I don't want to make... Moody's an 80 overall. Damn. Uh, DeWan Wright, Jalen Brunson. Could I get like a draft pick? Like where's the highest of the draft that uh, Drogic and J.R. Smith can get me? Like could that somehow give me like 10? Oh, that could definitely give me 10. Oh, damn. Could it give me 8? Oh my god, I just got the 8th overall pick. Dope, I'll see you guys at Rookie Sonics. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to take Jaden McDaniels. Wait, is that Jaden the good one? Or is that Jalen? Wait, Jaden McDaniels is the good one, I think. Damn, this guy fell to me at 8. Okay, this guy's really good, so I'm happy with this pick. I guess we have a second round pick, because I can see it to our next pick. Yeah, it's in the second round. Uh, who sounds cool here? Reggie Perry. Uh, Quinted Rose Temple. Represent. All right, so I'll draft him. All right, so this Jalen McDaniels, Jaden McDaniels guy can honestly, like, start for us. He's at 80 overall, so we'll see, though. Uh, so Davis, of course, he did cut his player option. Okay, so we're going to bring back everybody here because worst-case scenario, they're all trade assets. So, oh, God, no, I'm going to worry about Sonny. I swear to God, if you leave me, Anthony, I swear to God, he has zero offers, so he's not leaving me. So we're about to give him a lot of money. Actually, that was only, like, 33 mil. He's definitely, like, a, like a 40 mil type guy, so... That's interesting. So we get him. We read out the rights on Avery Bradley, but I don't. I don't think I, I didn't even have Burnett's on him anyway because it was only a one-year deal. So we could get like a Shabazz deep here, okay? We could sign him back. We could get Rivers, Joe Harris, uh, Aaron Baines. Okay, I could either take like Aaron Baines, Bielitsa, New Balance, uh, Joe Harris, Avery Bradley. I'm gonna get Shabazz deep here actually. Uh, because, yeah, we got LeBron's guy back from the Miami Heat that they made him trade. The Heat traded him, like, an extra first or whatever it was for him uh, to get Shabazz Napier. And he... And then LeBron left that all season. So I'm actually really excited to use J.D. McDaniels. I actually might start this dude. So, and like, we have Josh Hart and Napier off the bench. But I guess I can either start Napier or I can start LeBron back a point guard. Or I can make a trade. I can move, like, Winslow uh, for a point guard, which I can definitely get. So we'll see what I want to do here. So trading camps... Untap potential. We're going to send McDaniels. Actually, no. I'm going to start McDaniels and I'll start LeBron at the point. And we could start Winslow at the point. Yeah. Okay. Now, we have a lot of guys we can move. Like, one, two, three. We can move a couple of these dudes. Like, I might even move Zubats and, like, Zubats, Bonga, and Winslow for, like, a good, uh, like, a really good center of power forward. So, that could happen. Let me just see where we're at and who's not going to be getting minutes. So, we have one, two. No, we have one. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. Hey, <laughs> they said Moscow. So what could I get, hypothetically, for Zubats, Mikhaik, and Banka? I doubt this is a huge upgraded center. I'm still interested to see what teams would give me. Okay. This is actually a cool trade. But I want a center. Like, I really, like, Zach Collins. Uh, actually, I think I know what I want. Could I get Yusuf Nurkic? What's the problem? Oh, God. Okay. Give me George Hill. Why does he have a star and a half? Give me Jared Smith. Damn it. Uh, I would have to give up Napier probably in this trade. Okay. So say we took out, uh, we did this. And, and I'll give you a first out back. And I'll give you two seconds, but that's most likely it. Okay, screw it. Uh, I don't know what I want. I really don't know what I want. Okay. I'm going to find a trade. I'll see you guys when I have something. All right, guys. So we're going to be trading McKayek. Uh, and Baga for the Clippers first rounder this year, which is two and a half stars, and Ken Birch. So we're going to do that. Now, we just got a first hit, but those two weren't going to play anyway. So let me just, I think we need a backup center or like a backup big man in general. Um, yeah, so let me move. Uh, let's see. I'll probably move Mo Wagner. 
and get Birch for a better backup center, if that's what I could find. And then I think I'll be good. Uh, probably Jonah Bolden. And who else? Tower Zeller. That's interesting. Zizich. I got 26 offers, so there's probably something. Will you read? Come on, I gotta get something better than that. I feel like Wagner's gotta have decent trade value. But apparently not. Daniel Gafford. Okay, I guess I'll do that. Uh, he's like a second year player, so he's already 77. Uh, he was the 21st pick, but he's a really good player. Uh, at least in 2K. So we're gonna do that. Now, obviously, this is not what the rotation's gonna look like. We're gonna have LeBron at point. We're gonna have Clay at shooting guard. We're going to have McDaniels at small forward, Harden's at six man. Uh, Zubats, yeah, this might be his last year as a center, we'll see. So right now, so you're not going to be playing. Uh, Napier, you can get 15 along with Gafford. Okay, actually, Napier, you're going to get like 14, we'll go, six, we'll go 17, then we'll go 24. Perfect. Uh, okay, so I got 16 minutes left, 37, 37, and then we'll go 29. Okay, so that's what will be, that'll be that. And then we said quit it, Rose of the Jew League, which I can't do right now. Hold on. And then I'll see you guys at the end of Marshawn Brooks. Okay. Not Dylan Brooks. Marshawn Brooks. And I'm going to say quit it, Rose of the... What the hell? I can't send him to the Jew League? Okay. While we say quit it, Rose of the Jew League, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hey, so we go 59 and 23, and the unibrow, the brow, is MVP. 26 points, 12.7 rebounds, 4 assists, over a steal and a half, over 2 blocks, 54% from the field, 41% from downtown, which is a career high. Uh, it's absurd. Um, actually, his rookie numbers weren't, like, as good as I thought they were. But it's crazy, like, that jump, and he's immediately a 2010 player, and he's never looked back since. He's probably the most, I don't know, I feel like there's very few, like, most sure prospects. He was one of them. I think Ben Simmons is up there. We all knew Ben Simmons was going to be really good. Like, no debate. Um, like, obviously, a lot of people thought Andrew Wiggins was a sure prospect, but that didn't work out as planned. But I would say, like, Anthony Davis, Ben Simmons... I'm trying to think, like, 2015, I guess Cat was pretty sure, right? Uh, what was he, 2012, so who was 2013 then? Like, nobody thought Old Depot was, like, a sure prospect, or Giannis. Uh, 2014, oh, that was the Wiggins year, 2015. I guess people thought DeAndre Russell, but it took him a little bit. Uh, 2016, Ben Simmons, I would say, was, like, the only one that was a sure prospect in 2017. Oh, God. Uh, I don't even want to talk about that draft class. Uh, 2018, uh, pretty much. Uh, I would say people were half and half on Doncic and like Aiden. And then obviously Zion is people thinking of this most sure guy. So he gets MVP and Defense Player of the Year and we get Coach of the Year. Hey, DSJ. like to see that. Uh, so Eddie Davis, all be first team, all be second team, no Lakers. And we do get LeBron on all be third team. 24, almost, God, almost nine assists, 6.7 rebounds. The dude is what, 36 years old? It's absurd. Eddie Davis, obviously, all defense the first team. Uh, and then we're going to get no Jada McDaniels, but he does get all rookie second team. We average 14 points. Not bad. Three assists, two rebounds. So we're the one team taking on the Pelicans in round one, of course. So they're rolling out a Lonzo Holiday, as it should be. They're starting Hachi Moore over Ingram, Kuzma, and Derwin Zola. That's a fun lineup, but they should really move Ingram. Player stats, we saw Davis. We pretty much saw him abroad. Clay, only 15 a game, damn. McDaniels, 13, 11 and 8 for Zubats. Uh, there's Hart, 9 points. Uh, almost a steal a game, two assists, three rebounds. Daniel Gafford, Winslow, and Napier. Uh, a couple of former Miami Heat on this team in Winslow, uh, Napier, and LeBron. Uh, points per game, we were one. Allowed, we were third. And point differential, we were one. So let's get into this. I think we should be fine against the 41 and 41 Pelicans. I don't think they'll beat us, but we'll see. The Jazz, they're the 7th seed this year. Okay, so they took maybe a step back. Uh, we sweep the Pelicans, which is cool. Uh, now we're taking on the Rockets. The Warriors did not make the playoffs, which is surprising, I would say. Uh, we're up 2-0 on the Rockets. 3-0, and we sweep them. Okay, and we're going to be taking on the Thunder. Can we maybe get revenge from year one, where they beat us? Uh, or year two? Was it your? It was last year, right? Oh no, no, the Jazz beat us. I forget how many years I've done this. Uh, I really don't remember at all. Did they have Thunder ever beat me? I feel like I did play the Thunder. Yeah, it was when we were the four seed, and then last year, no, we beat the Thunder. We beat the Thunder in seven. Okay, and then we lost to the Jazz. I was like, I know I played the Thunder. I know I played the Jazz, but the Thunder beat us. So now we're taking on the Pacers in the finals. Did they sign KD? No, but they signed Cousins. Really doesn't fit their team at all, but sure. All right, we're up one out, two out. 2-1, 3-1, and it looks like we're going to be trying to win in five here. I'm probably going to do another year, honestly. 
because I feel like this is pretty short, and I'll see if we can repeat. So, yeah, we are going to win this. I'm going to hop in, and then we're going to do another season. Oh, give me that. Daniel Gafford with the steal. Okay, I don't get to use LeBron a lot, so this will be fun. LeBron, not going to go to the line there. Missed that. Okay, is Anthony... I don't get to use Anthony Davis a lot either, so... I Can we foul or something? I just... Okay, let's foul. Let's foul. Let's foul. Or we're going to steal. God damn it. Uh, McDaniel's ready. Throw this down. He's going to... Yeah, miss. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to foul so we can get uh, Anthony Davis in. And who else am I going to say? Just Anthony Davis, really. So we're going to foul immediately. Josh Hart, uh, he'll be out of the game. Is Clay currently in? I didn't see. Yeah, no, Clay is in. Anthony Davis has 17 points and 15 rebounds. LeBron is 25, 7, and 7. And they did win a game, I guess, on us because this is game five. I thought we were sweeping them, honestly. But, ooh, Zubach, 15 and 8. Not bad. Cousins is not even on the floor. McDaniels has 18 points and 8 assists. Pretty good. Uh, he's got C-minus perimeter D, though, so probably not the guy we would want on Oladipo, but whatever. Ooh, get that block. Ah, oh, they're going to call a foul. And one, damn. Eric Bledsoe, that's a cool pickup. I really hope, like, the Pacers are, like, a team, like, I don't see any star free agent signing with them. Like, I would really like to see them either sign, like, Bledsoe or trade for Kali, or I even thought trade for John Wall. Like, yeah, I know you're not going to, like, you have a lot of cap space, and John Wall's making a lot of money. But John Wall might be the best guy you could ever pair up Oladipo. Imagine... Like, John Wall, uh, Owen Depot, uh, Bogdanovich, Sabonis, Turner. Like, come on, that is really freaking good. I, like, I, and they're like, oh, the contract's too big. Screw it, you're still gonna have burn rights to re-sign Owen Depot and Sabonis, so it's not like you have to worry about that. And, like, I don't know, like, say you threw in Aaron Holiday and a first, and, like, I don't know, Aaron Holiday or two first, or something like that. Aaron Holiday and, like, a first. And if, um... Uh, Washington's like, screw it, we don't need this contract anymore. Like, if his value's that low, like, screw it. But I doubt his value's that low. John Wall's still a top 25 player in the NBA. Uh, maybe people don't think so after this year, but he's still really good. A lot of people decide to hate, him, hate on him this year, but he's one of the best two-way point guards when it comes to defense and offense, and he's still one of the best passing guards in the league. Uh, I think he averaged over, like, seven assists at least since he's really been in the NBA, or it's definitely been in the last couple of years, but I would like to see Indiana, you know, ooh, another block from LeBron, like, go after, like, a Conley, or a, uh, a Conley, or a, uh, John Wall, and Clay misses that three, but we are going to be winning this game, I wasn't even really talking about, much about the game, but I don't know what you guys would think about that, uh, I know I mentioned that when John Wall, uh, I think there was a report when him and Beal were, of anybody was available back in, uh, November, but I mentioned on Twitter that the Pacers should maybe be thinking about John Wall, but I really, most people are like, no, like, why would they ever do that? His contract sucks. Like, uh, the, why would they waste all their money on John Wall? But, like, realistically, who are the Pacers signing? I would love to see Kevin Walker in Indiana. I mentioned them trying to trade for him last year. Uh, I would really like to see Kevin Walker there. Conley, like, I don't think they're going to sign Kevin Walker or Kyrie Irving or, I don't know, maybe they could be an Eric Bledsoe suitor. And Eric Bledsoe, I think, would be a pretty good fit, too, because Eric Bledsoe is a solid defender. And him and uh, Old Depot would be pretty scary as well. But I would like to see them get another star with Old Depot, a.k.a. John Wall. Uh, okay, Anthony Davis, can you sh uh, give me a pick here? There we go. Pick and pop. Anthony Davis. Okay, get double teamed. Anthony Davis. Damn, I was going to say money. Well, oh, well, we're going to win it all. Finals MVP, I'm actually going to say it's Anthony Davis. So we win it all, and Finals MVP is Anthony Davis. So I'm going to try to maybe just make this team OP and go for like 70 wins next year. So I think that would definitely involve me trading Zubats. And we have the seventh pick to use via the Clippers uh, that we gave Makaya up and Bonga up for. So I'll definitely take that. Uh, let's definitely bring back Gregory Peterson uh, so we can get those three trading camps. Jada McDaniels can be hyper can move. I don't know though. Uh, let's see. Like hypothetically, Zubats and the seventh pick. Zach Levine. Okay. Damian Dotson. I want like an elite center. Marcus Saul, Valachunas. Can we get better than that? Fourth pick, Buddy Heald. Damn it. Uh, no elite center so far. Abaka. I'll pass. Where's like the Andre Jobins or like the Rudy Bears of the world? Uh, let's go to center. Are they free agents? Jobin might be a free agent. Uh, Gobe oh no, he's not. He's an 89. Gobert's a 90. I don't know if we're going to have the money. That's actually a probably a big deal. Uh, Zubat's seventh pick. Who else would I have to give up? I'll give you Winslow. Can we do Zubat's and Winslow? And a future first. There we go. So we get to keep the seventh pick there, which is crazy so yeah we're gonna have four we have four max deals on this team and they're all under contract oh no what broad is it i swear to god if they're like you're over the luxury tax i'll be so upset what can i get jada mcdaniels shabazz napier the seventh pick for let's just see hypothetically 
Uh, can I get Lonzo Ball back? I wonder if I could actually... Nah, Lonzo's definitely... Nah, that's not going to work. Okay. What happens... I do want to move Napier, though, in the seventh pick. So what can I get for those two? Uh, we can get the sixth pick. Scotty Lewis for Kaminsky. Uh, guy named Theo. <laughs> Aiden Igihan. Looks pretty good. Uh, oh, he did play in the NBA last show. Okay. Brad Watermaker, Quinny Grimes, tough pick. Okay, really not that much. So we can obviously move up in the draft, which I'm probably just going to do. So 7, 30, and Shabazz for, I don't know, the number one pick. I don't even know if this is like an auto-generated draft class or it's the 2021. I forgot what I did. Uh, not the number one. Can we get like number three? Okay, so we got the third pick. Is this an auto-generated draft class? I have no idea. No, it's not. Okay. So I'm just going to go best player available. I'll see you guys over here Saturday. All right, so I took Isaiah Todd out of Kentucky. He'll be a dope backup big man. Now, I'm just hoping I have enough money to bring back LeBron. Oh, he had a player option accepted. Okay, no, there goes my question. So we're chilling. Is Josh Hart a free agent? Okay. I don't know if... Like, I'm still nervous about us having, like, the whole money thing. He wants 30 mil? What? Okay, yeah, I'll wait to see if somebody gives you a deal. All right, so we have one... No, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I guess Quinton Rose is going to be nine, and then, or will be eight, and then uh, Josh Hart will be nine. But damn, okay, yeah. Quinton Grimes is going to get like 10 minutes a game. So I'm going to read out tonight on everybody. David Stockton, what did I have? John Son. What? All right, so Hart, I'm obviously not going to read out tonight on him yet uh, at all. I just want to see if a team offers him a deal, but I'll see you guys at training camps nonetheless. Actually, screw it. If this is the last year, I can afford to give him 26 mil. Whatever that was right there, 26 and a half mil. Uh, I'll do it. Okay, we can afford it. Wow, we have like no money though. So I'll see you guys at training camps. All right, on top of potential is cheese. This team is weird. Uh, but it's kind of cool. Uh, I traded Zubats, right? Yeah, so we'll sub like Gafford and we'll sub like Isaiah Todd to all on top of potentials. So we're going to have a LeBron James, Clay Thompson, Jaden McDaniels. Uh, where's it? Jalen. Jalen McDaniels. Uh, Anthony Davis, Andre Drummond. Uh, one through five. Uh, jeez, that's really good. No, I'm not playing George Hill. I'm not playing Brown Neto. And whoever the guy in year one was, or year two, screw it. Uh, so Jaden McDaniels, or Jalen. No, it is Jaden. It's not Jalen. Okay. Uh, because I know there is a Jalen McDaniels. That's why I'm kind of getting mixed up here. So we're going to go 15. We'll go 17 to these two. Uh, and then I'm going to give Quinny Grimes, like, 10 minutes a night, uh, at the ninth spot. So we're going to be playing, like, well, Brown's going to be, like, 37, playing 35 minutes a game. Not going to be the best idea in the world, but screw it. Uh, Josh Hart, let's just do this. Okay, Hart, you're gonna get 24. We'll go 30 to Drummond, 37 there. 30 to McDaniels, 35 to Clay. We can do that, we'll go 32, and then we'll do 31. All right, so that's gonna be for me. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. We should repeat. All right, guys, so we're not gonna hit 70 wins, but I think the most we can hit is 67 if we do win out. Um, and uh, usually when I start talking, we do lose games, so. Okay, yep, uh, that was expected. I expect maybe to lose another one. But, hey, we're going to either go 65 and 16 or, or 66 and 16 or 65 and 17. And we go 66 and 16, which is a really good record. But Broad probably gets his what would be final MVP. I mean, I don't think he would win it after 37. And I'm surprised he won it at 37. That would definitely be the oldest MVP. Unless, like, Will Chamberlain or, goddamn, I don't know, like, Kareem won one when he was, like, 40. I don't know. Uh, Jaden McDaniels gets most improved. He averaged 19. Definitely Clay Thompson averaged like 12 points a game. Uh, Jacob Underwood, coach of the year. Let's go. LeBron only first team. Uh, no Davis in second team, but he does get third team. He also gets all team at the first team. Uh, and yeah, so we're not going to have a rookie. No, we could have Isaiah Todd. But there is none. Well, he didn't really play that much. So we're obviously no one seed. We're taking on, I think that was Denver in round one. <laughs> Warriors did the playoffs again. KD and Draymond. Uh, yeah. Wow, geez, those are amazing numbers, Draymond. <laughs> uh, he's 32. Yeah, he's regressing now. Uh, so they have Murray, Harris, Porter Jr. I would like, I'd be curious. Like, say uh, Denver called up uh, uh, the Pelicans and were like, we'll give you Gary Harris, Paul Millsap, Malik Beasley, and two first round picks for Anthony Davis. I wonder if the Pelicans would accept that. Probably not, but that'd be very interesting. Imagine, imagine like Jamal Murray. Like, Michael Porter Jr., Anthony Davis, and Jokic. I mean, Porter Jr. probably isn't going to play this year, but that'd be still really cool. Just Murray, Davis, and Jokic. Imagine Davis and Jokic. That's wild. So, yeah, everyone's scoring went down a little bit this year because he added a 14-point scorer, and we added... Well, and he went up from 13 to 19, so it was pretty much guaranteed. Those are the stats. I'm sure we were 1-1. One one. Yep, and 1 in all three, so we should win it all. 
I'm not saying we definitely are, because I don't know, but no team really scares me. I mean, Phoenix was the two seed. Who's it? Aiden Booker and maybe John ja Morant? I don't, I don't know. Like, does that really scare LeBron, Clay, Drummond, and Anthony Davis? Probably not. Uh, they didn't even win. No, they didn't win. Yeah, they won in seven, actually. So they Booker, Harold Ward. Did they have John ja Morant? Who did they get in your... They don't even play Josh Jackson. Oh, they got Zion. Okay. Still pretty good, but we're taking on the Jazz. Can we get revenge from two years ago? As we're up 2-0, 3-0, and make that a sweep. All right. What are the odds we could go 16-0? Watch the... Actually, they won 62 games this time, so they could beat us. There's our first playoff L. 2-1 uh, to one us, 3-1, to one, and we win in five. Let's go. Now take it on the Cavs in the finals, who have Sexton Love, Bogdanovich. Uh, which one is this one? Bogdan. Bogdan. Uh, Bogdan. Nazir Whittle. That much. That's stuff with that young. Larry Nance Jr. Okay. So we should win. <laughs> LeBron against his former team. And we're up to, I can't believe they won a game on us. But we won in five. So we went back to back titles. So that is going to be it for me. Hope you guys did all enjoy this type of rebuild. I think the next video you're going to see is going to be my final thoughts on the Chris Stops trade. I'm going to talk a lot about that trade. Uh, Josh Hart's up to an 87. Damn, this was a good team. Pretty good solid team. So yeah, that is going to be it for me. Let me know in the comments any other scenario rebuilds. I know I've done like a Tobias Harris. Uh, I've done a Tobias Harris. Uh, that's your build. I think I've done a Kemba Walker. I don't know. I've done, uh, I think, two. Maybe I did a, K a KD Knicks. I don't I don't remember the other one I did. Oh, well. But, yeah, this was just another off-season scenario rebuild. So let me know in the comments other ones you guys would want to see on the channel. So that's going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. See you guys next video.